Hi everyone, Jason here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I will give you a short and simple tutorial on how to enable call recording function in your Samsung Galaxy S20 Fan Edition. Okay, so let's begin the tutorial. So as you can see, this is the phone that currently I'm using. So first step that you need to do is go under your settings, search for about phone. Okay, and make sure what is the software version and also build number that your phone is currently using. So currently, my phone is using or running on a XME version of firmware. Okay, so as you can see, over here, under settings, there is no call recording function in this phone. So how do we enable the call recording function in the phone? So let's move on to the tutorial. Okay, so what we need to do now is go to our web browser and key in samfw.com. So once we are in this website, we need to enter our device name or our device model code. So in this case, we are using SMG781B phone, okay? So which indicates that we are using Galaxy S20 Fan Edition 5G, okay? Click on this, scroll down, you can see that uh, it has categorized as two different regions. One is Asia region and another one is Europe region. Okay, So if you want to enable call recording function in the phone, you either choose Thailand region or India region. But previously I used Thailand region but it is not workable for me. So in the end, I choose India version instead. So click on India version, scroll down. There are a lot of versions over here. So we need to pick on the latest version, which is this one. Okay. Scroll down. And you can see that there is a download SAMFW server over here. Okay. So you can click this in order to download the firmware. On top of that, we also need to download the Odin, which is a program to help us to flash the firmware into our phone. Once we have downloaded the firmware as well as Odin just now, Click on Odin and open up this program and it looks like this. So under Odin, you can see there are BL, AP, CP as well as CSC. First, we click on BL and move to the download folder just now. So this is the firmware that we have downloaded just now. Please make sure that you have downloaded India version which indicates INS over here. Double click in this folder and first we need to upload the BL folder in this Odin. So double click on BL and it will upload the BL in, into the Odin program. Next, move on to AP. Double click on AP as well. It will take a longer period of time to upload the AP. So we need to wait patiently. Okay, now we move on to CP. So double click on CP as well. And lastly is a CSC. Okay, so as you can see, there are two types of CSC over here. The first one is CSC underscore ODM and the other one is home underscore CSC. So if you want a fresh install, you can pick this CSC underscore ODM, but it will erase all your data in your phone. And if you want to retain your data in your phone, you can pick this home underscore CSC. So in my case, I want to retain all my phone's data. So I'll pick this home underscore CSC instead. Okay, so now we have already successfully uploaded all the necessary uh, data into this Odin. So what we need to do now is to connect the phone with the desktop. What we need to do now is to switch off our phone. Once it has switched off ready, we need to press on volume button down and volume button up simultaneously. And we need to plug in the USB cable into the port of the phone, okay? So you can see the screen now turns blue color and we need to press on volume up in order to continue. Okay, you can listen to the sound from the computer. It means that the device has successfully connected to the PC, all right? Next. You can see in your Odin program, there is something over here which means that the phone has successfully connected to this Odin. What we need to do now is just to press the start button over here and the program will run itself. 
So we will, we will wait until the program has finished running. Okay, it shows pass over here, which means that we have successfully flashed the firmware into our phone. So what we need to do now is to double check on our phone. Go to settings. Under the information, as you can see now, the software information has changed already. Just now we were using XME version and now we are in INS, which means the India version. So it means that we have successfully flashed the new firmware into our phone. Alright, we go to our phone, under settings, you can see that there's a call recording function over here. Press on this and we can choose to auto record the calls or if you want to manually record the calls, it's up to you. Alright, so today ends my tutorial. Hope this video helps you. If you think that this video helps you, like and subscribe to my channel. Okay, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.